Hello guys and welcome back. Today we're playing a new game. This is called The Hunter, The Call of the Wild. So today, right, I'm just gonna warn you guys quickly. If you guys don't like to see animals die or get hurt, turn away now and leave. If you guys want episode 2, please leave a like, share and subscribe. And let me know if you guys want a series of this. Because it's no reason for me to put this on YouTube if you guys are not interested in it. Yeah, as you see, I have not played this game yet. So, all this is new for me too. So, yeah, characters, I'm gonna be a male. Yeah, let's begin. Hi, I heard you finally arrived. Welcome to Central Europe. Perfect. I'm Kami, the Wildhüter of Hirschfelden, Reserve Warden that is. I'm here to make sure that your time here will be unforgettable. My forest. Hirschfelden is one of the oldest hunting reserves in Europe, and we host a diverse population of the most popular big game for all hunting tastes. It's also the most beautiful place on earth. No, I'm not biased at all. I have something to say against that. Yeah. Well, we have a, we have a phone. Go ahead and have a look around. I can't wait for you to experience all the beauty of Hirschfelden's fields and forests. Yeah, I'm gonna explore it. See if you can find an animal track nearby. Already? Hmm. Already hunting animals. Last chance to turn away if you don't like to see animals die. Nice rifle. Just as you can know, I'm not gonna read up all the text that comes on the screen. Oh, well, that happens when you press start. Alright. You guys can pause the video and uh, read all the text if you guys want, because I'm not gonna care about it. Like over my cell phone, I'm not gonna read that for you. Animal, I see ya. Right, what button is it to get binoculars? That's my raffle. Oh, equip and unequip sight. Think I'm not gonna do that yet? Wrong button. Oh, yes, button too. Get them highlight. That's good. Oh, this pierce. Yeah, what button is it? This is kind of confusing. Gently now. There we have it. Did I hit? No. Oh, I hit it. Oh, I hit it once more. Nice. Let us just get that ammo. Finish it off. Running in the reserve is great. Just know that the animals will hear you running before you even come close. That's good to know. To not run. Oh, blood. Stay low when you're stalking an animal to avoid being seen. Alright, I'm not gonna do that. In the start. Uh, up in the corner you can you can see how bad it is. Yeah. A lot of tracks and a lot of blood. 
I have nothing against seeing blood, just... Hmm, sounds like Gerlinda could use a hand. Who's Gerlinda? Hmm. Poor animal. Let's see. Oh, so you can't actually see... Yeah, poor animal. Oh, sorry. I just got a message from one of the local residents, Gerlinda Jaeger. I'll check in with her later to see what she needs help with. Alright, so... The red is the bone we hit, and the arrow is the curious, shot. There are lookout points spread out all over the reserve. Oh, that's good to know. There's oh, no XP. There's no shortage of ways to earn money as a hunter. No shortage of ways to spend it either. That's good. So there are actually a money system in the game. That's good to know. What button is it to take on my phone? I think that's missions that shows up on my phone. Is that the tower? Oh. Oh. Observation point. Well, I think I'm not gonna ruin, or I'm gonna do as good as I can to hide uh, the look until I am up there. Yeah, it looks so beautiful. I can't wait to just get out in nature and just hunt. It's still confusing. All this switching in between them. Getting some exercise, are we? Just remember to take a breather before shooting anything. That's good to know. Not here. Oh, there. Quite a view, isn't it? From here, you can see a lot of great hunting opportunities in the nearby area. Rattenfeld is a favorite region for a lot of hunters. The fallow deer is such a classic animal to hunt. But we also get a lot of history buffs here. To the south lies the Hirschdorf Hügelgrab, a grave mound dating back to the Bronze Age. Be sure to stop by one of the outposts. They're essentially base camps. Alright. Well, I'll just place that on a checkpoint because I've decided I want to go there. What's that? Oh. Let me see. Can I see the animal? Probably not. Oh, we have health. I wonder, can I jump off this? I'm, I am not gonna try it. It is kind of tempting to jump off and see if if I take fall damage. To be honest, I don't know what's gonna happen if I die, so I'm trying to not kill myself. <laughs> nice gun. I hope we can get better guns after, well, after our time, maybe buy some new guns. I am easily uh, distracted, so if I say we're gonna go somewhere, I'm probably gonna get uh, distracted by an animal or something, go over there and forget about the second thing. Yeah. Yeah, I just clipped. Uh, nothing special actually happened, just... Well, 
just took a bit of time on running down. So, just skipped a bit. Listen. Oh. Yeah, I hear it. Really helpful when locating an animal. I kinda already found that out. Here it is. Oh, that picture looks good. Wonder, can I hit that from here? We see. Take a breather. Did I hit it? Probably not. Let me see. Nope, I did not hit it. Oh, dear. Wow, a rock pile. I know it. So, I've actually seen those piles of rocks, well, on mountains and on, on hikes I have done with my father. So, I really hope there are more of them. Just randomly placed on the map. Feeding zone. Hmm. After what the mark is, I think. I think the animals go here to feed. Is that flowers or grass? The red. <laughs> kind of hard to see. The underbrush can be a bit noisy this time of year. Yeah, I think I found that out. It's really loud. Yeah. Is that, do Is that dogs or birds? I really hope there are no wolves in this map. So I would have nothing against it, just... I don't want to get the, uh, well, jumped on to if they are aggressive. So, what is this? So, I need to follow the blue tracks. Right, so, the blue that's in front of the tracks is, it can be in between those areas. Just, there are no, of, no, none of those type of arrows, oh. Those just randomly if you find the there's droppings. That's good to know. So loud. What's that? Uh, let me see. Is that a fox? Well, I've written is, if you want to play this game, you have to have a pretty good, uh, how do you say it, um, patient. Well, you have to actually set yourself into chasing the animals. If you guys want to know when this came out on uh, Xbox, it's 2nd October 2017, it came out. That's kind of getting annoying. Really hope I find that animal.
Ist das der Arme? No. Well, the nature looks really good through the sight. I'm trying to avoid the uh, noises, the noisy trees and bushes. It's kind of annoying to go through. But I noticed uh, down underneath my ammo and underneath my health is the type of that my shows my heart rate and how visible I am in the middle and how much noise I make. Was that down? No. Probably shouldn't do that because it's really noisy. It's it's kind of confusing the buttons to switch switch to a gun and between all those. Yeah, I'm just gonna run. Or... Yeah. I don't know. Let me see. Oh. There's a track. Oh, I can actually see myself on the map. Was there something there? I think I saw something move. No, probably not. What? Oh, there we have it. Come on, there. Come on. I'm just gonna shoot you. And hang up on my ball. So you can't actually take uh, the meat and the skin of the animal. As you guys saw. Am I stuck in a branch? Oh yeah. Uh, let me just... If you can see, I'm, I'm easily distracted. <laughs> yeah. What's... oh! Is that a camp? What's that? Wow! Is that a... I want that. Uh, my button didn't work. I'm just running around. Try to take it down. Sorry if you guys can hear me breathe. Right. Claim? Is this mine now? Oh, container. Cozy, right? Outposts are great for stocking up or just taking a break. Cannot go through there. I tried to go around. Yeah, it's worked. Oh, you found a shed. I remember finding a big deer antler for the first time as a kid. It felt like I had dug up some real treasure. What is this? Oh, weapons. I guess it's here we buy stuff. What a neat challenge to pass the time when not hunting. Many of the animals are shedding their antlers this time of year. They're still tricky to find, of course, but I guess that's why people like to collect them. That's good to know. Hi there. I've got a bit of an unusual question. I hope you don't mind. I think I mentioned Galinda, right? 
Well, here's the thing. She's writing a book about fallow deer. Her second one, actually. She's got a small obsession for fallow deer. Anyhow, she's missing some pictures for her book and was looking for someone to help out. It's a bit specific. I remember hearing that you're quite the photographer yourself, so I thought I'd pass along her offer. That's true. She's looking for a picture of a fallow deer taken in Rattenfeld. She'll pay quite well for it, so it may be worth the effort. If you were looking to help out Gerlinda with that picture, you're in the right place. You're in Rattenfeld. Right. Well, this is where I'm gonna cut up the episode. So, if you guys want more, just leave a like, share, and comment.